In this video I will show you a full assembly of Cubot robot. So let's jump right into it. First we need to connect Arduino controller to the circuit. Then ultrasonic sensor and inertial sensor. Finally, we have to connect lithium battery to this small white connector on the circuit board. Now let's insert both EF90D servo drives into the main body part. Each motor has a designated place. Both drives are marked M1 and M2. Insert each drive wire first into their place and fasten them using 2x10mm screws. Now we need to connect M1 and M2 to the circuit. Each servo cable has three wires. Yellow is data wire, red is positive supply wire and brown is negative supply wire. Everything is marked on the circuit. Next we need to put the control system into the body. We have to do it upside down. Push the battery and all the wires under the servo drives. First insert the ultrasonic sensor. Now screw the circuit using 2x5mm screws. Here's how it looks at the moment. Now put the top part on. Next we need to fix all holders. Let's do the back holder first. Then we have to put the front holder on. Before putting the gripper holder on, fix the 2x5mm screws on the holder first. Time to assemble the wheels. Again, it is better to fix the screws first. Then screw these parts into the wheels. After that, put each wheel on the servos and fix them using special servo screws. Don't screw them too tight, otherwise they won't turn. And in this state, robot is ready for action. Now let's assemble the gripper. Take the gripper arm, both SG90 servo drives and both gripper claws. 
we need to put both drives to their designated places. Let's start with M3 servo drive. It has to be fixed using 2x5mm screws. One screw from the inside, the other from the outside. Continue with M4 servo drive. Four drive is fixed using 2 by 10 mm screws. Now attach first gripper cloth using 2 by 5 mm screws. One screw from the inside, the other from the outside. For the second claw, we need the biggest 3 by 16 mm screw. The key is to position both claws straight. Otherwise, it will not function properly. And here's how Gripper looks assembled. Next, we need to pull servo wires through these holes. M3 servo wire goes from the bottom side M4 servo wire goes from the top side Now let's attach the gripper to the robot. We only need to use single 2x10mm screw. Fix the screw to the holder first. And then add the gripper. Put the M3 servo wire behind the servo so it doesn't get in the way. The final step is to connect M3 and M4 servos to the circuit. And here it is. Thanks for watching.